In May of last year, Council Member Nancy Florine received some news that would change her life. She was diagnosed with stage one breast cancer, and with that diagnosis came a new approach to and outlook on life. It was a routine mammogram that set Nancy Florine's life on a new course. Stage one breast cancer, a lumpectomy, radiation, and regular checkups with her oncologist would be the protocol for the coming year. Today, one year later, she is cancer free. Uh, I'm good to go. I just had my uh, one year ch checkup, uh, soup to nuts, and uh, there's no evidence of recurrence right th at this point, so that's good. Through her own regular visits to the oncologist during her treatment, Councilmember Florine learned of an option she decided would be a smart move in preventative care for her own family members, genetic testing. So let's go on okay. okay, all right. Dr. Judy Macon was Ms. Florine's genetic counselor. Only about five to 10% of women who are diagnosed with breast cancer do have a genetic component. So what we do is we look for clues in a family to see, is this a family that is appropriate to consider testing? The thing I'm concerned about, I guess, on your mom's side of the family, yeah, this is, is you had an aunt yeah. with uterus cancer and breast cancer. Mm -hmm. For Nancy Florine, the discovery of aunts and cousins who had a history of cancer made the decision to undergo genetic testing an easy one. You do have a lot of family members. I must say, this side of your family is a little more suspicious They're worse. than this yeah. side. A lot of people come into this thinking, well, why should I want to know? You should want to know so that you can help reduce your risk of certain cancers the most you can. That's empowering. That's getting ahead of the game. Ladies, right there. Today, Nancy Florine says life is good. Though she may not feel completely back to her old self, she is grateful for where she is and how she got here. I'm really a boring case, which is a great way to be.